badges you can get. That's what's important. Being a pro in any game of various high stress? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. The international... Hearthstone should be more severe though, because it is more RNG. The international 2020 Dota 2 tourney in Sweden will have an Underlord Championship map. Wow, that's amazing. Hearthstone should be more severe, because the game's very simple, right? Like, let's say that there was positioning, maybe there was like, um, item combination, like, um, aspects that we had to consider as well. Maybe an Underlord talent tree that was more complicated. Then the more you know, and the more, like, um, talented you are, you get an advantage, right? You get a competitive advantage for playing those. But Hearthstone does not have much competitive advantages, only knowing what to build into, right? That's, that's the only advantage you can get, like, knowing what to build into. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a fun game. That's why it makes no sense that um, people will want to go for comp like a competitive gameplay for a fun game, right? I guess you should change it. Oh, right, game auto chess. <laughs> Forgot about that. Thank you for telling me so. Alright, let's go back to Underlords then. Oh, what's up, SJ? How are you doing this fun day, man? Wow, it has been like, uh, it has been like four months. Since we are playing like Autos, oh, huh? <laughs> Knowing how to use economy, maybe moving a bit board space, that's all it. That, that's it though, right? There's no more than that. Variety day. The more, uh, the more various the aspects, the more, like, potential, um, edges you can get. Hearthstone has less, so if I were to pick, um, a competitive game to be a pro at, then I think it's better to try to dodge Hearthstone. If I had a choice, of course. If I had no choice, that's fine. But don't get me wrong, I think Hearthstone's ridiculously fun. Like, ridiculously fun, for sure. Selling units, purchase, play different units. This game has all that, too, right? Which units to buy, which units not to buy. It's just that in Hearthstone, it's like, oh, hey, everything's positioned like this. <laughs> There's only two spaces. <laughs> it's much more simpler. So it can't be, um, it can't be like, um, better in, in terms of competitive play compared to these. Except for the, um, of course, the company providing, like, terms for that. Do I like this over ACM? Yeah, I prefer this over ACM. It's more entertaining. Alright. We'll have to lose round four. That's fine. The more, the better. Yep. Oh, what are you debating about? Because that's what I was debating about. If I were to choose a tournament game, I would pick um, I wouldn't pick Hearthstone. I would just pick like um, I'll play Hearthstone for fun. Pure RNG. Oh, I said it was pure RNG. You're you're tackling that. Well, I wasn't talking about that at all though. <laughs> Why are we talking about different things? I said it's more RNG than this game, so it would be very dangerous to play. Nothing is pure RNG, of course. Like you gotta know what to buy. You, like this game's RNG, but you gotta know like what to buy, right? Like a person playing this game at the beginning can't beat a guy who's been playing this for like ten years, right? A person who doesn't even know how to put like wait wait how do I buy stuff? <laughs> Where's my gold at? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't talking about... Why would I even consider t telling a game is like 100% RNG? Like, why would I Why would I even, like, dare argue about that? The lottery disagrees. <laughs> I see. I, I, there is no, like, um, benefit for me to argue that. Alright. Oh, wow. 100% skill game, XD. Wait. What the? <laughs> Wait, I actually can't level? Oh, whoops. I sold the wrong one. I was planning to put Shadow Shaman in. Hehe. <laughs> Mistakes were made. My favorite lottery is Jury Dury. Oh, you must have misunderstood. Yeah, I wasn't tackling that at all. I I'm talking about the. Uh, uh, the uh, oh, what's the blender? I'm talking about the competitive aspect. What I said was, if I had to choose 
a competitive game to become a pro at, I don't think I would choose Hearthstone. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it would be very stressful for me. Because it would be very hard to get first place consistently after people figure out the meta. Because there's very few competitive edges I can get. At best, knowing what to build. Maybe some light positioning. Maybe some selling systems. But um, at best, it's, it's, it's like that, right? <laughs> that's, that's what's at best. That's what I'm trying to say. No consistency. Yep, no consistency. I haven't played the game yet, though. I only saw like some other people play at best. But I, I only saw the mechanism. I was like, wow. Dude. I do not want to be pro here. <laughs> But I guess that's the same for like uh, most of this game. Alright. We don't have anything to add in though. Hmm. Tiny. Razor can give me primordials though. Alright, let's try Razor out. I consider double tiny throw, but why would I need a double tiny throw, right? Hmm. I actually, now that I played like auto chess, like um, the original auto chess, I actually realized that 2xing the HP could have been a good decision. Because the units here just die too fast, it's kind of boring. I do have fun playing it because snowballing feels good. <laughs> Dude, I, I completely agree with the fact that that game looks really fun though. Dude, that game has everything needed to be a really fun game. It's short. It's um... Let's call it. <laughs> Wait, is that it? I had a lot more than that. <laughs> Let's talk about 12 jailed units. Yeah, now that they jail more units, it should be easy. Oh, Sardar. It should be easier to like upgrade your units to 3 stars. So, they did raise the odds of finding like upgrades, that is more enjoyable. So, we are winning, we got early upgrades, we got Bat Rider, we can maybe go for Troll Warriors, we can maybe go for... Huh, what else do? 30 seconds of build up uh, for 30 seconds of fighting, in DAC you can have 30 seconds of build up and 3 second fight feels very deflating. That makes sense too. It's pluses and minuses, right? Oh wait. I'd say it's pluses and minuses. Pros and cons. Hmm. Wait, can I just go for Scrappies? Scrappies aren't that bad either. Because um, if the games don't go that long, the games are shorter, which is more like um, enlightening towards mobile audiences. But it is more engaging, I do completely agree with you. Underlords is a fun game, guys. Now that I now that I play like auto chess um, and then return to Underlords, I realize how fun this is. Yeah, this is fun. I've got two good stars. I know, right? Oh my god, this guy's a lot of upgrades too. Dude, I thought I was strong. <laughs> uh, Bruce, why are you here proving me wrong, man? Oh man. Let's see. Let's see what we can develop into with this particular situation. Bruce! Oh my god, everybody had upgrades, huh? Except, wait, wait. Bruce, why? Yeah, Bruce Synergy. Bruce Synergy is a lot better than I thought they. Six. Eight. Oh! Scrappies. Hmm. Trolls are possible too. Okay, even if I sell these, I can't get economy, so I'm going to chill and wait. I guess I didn't have a frontline, that makes sense. Wait, there's 12 Shadow Shamans. Wow, okay, okay. Two people can actually get Shadow Shaman. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not tackle that at all. Okay, we got four scrap. Let's go for scrappies. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, Aeas with the four months of the emerge, bro. Dude, so many shadow shamans. What the? What the? Wait, the fight's not over yet. I won, right? I lost? The shame. Well, I do have a direction. Do I want this direction, though? 
Scrappies are not really that bad with the um, option. Oh, okay. Tusk, bounty. Wow, this is super upgraded. <laughs> oh man, what is going on here? An E word? Hoo hoo, what is going on? We got a lot of scrappies at the moment. Do I want to sell everything else off with these, like, um, under upgrade scrappies though? That's the issue. It's kind of awkward to, like, transition into this yet at the moment. We will have to see. There's a lot of trolls, so I can just go for mages. Scrappies also are really good against these uh, particular compositions. So I think going for that build is not that bad, but I will be weaker if I'm forced to sell these upgraded units for these under upgrade scrappy. So this is the decision that I have to make. Hmm. Which decision could be better? Economy is a factor that I can't just fall behind on because I do not have a good economy at the moment. No good streaks. I think I had three good wins, but after that I kept on losing. Nobody else has a good streak too, thank god, except for maybe this guy with a good economy. Scrappies also perform well against assassins, that is a correct analysis sir. Oh, but we have so many scrappy potential. It's kind of awkward. Alright, let's supercharge. So, um, I don't need a frontline unit. Sir, alright. Okay, if I sell these two, that's 20, okay. Probably put these on. It should be right though. Alright, let's see what happens. I could go for like um scrappy hunters at the moment. Four scrappies. I would have to take out the bat rider too, alright. Plus for wars and art. Let's nah, I'm gonna cut them out. Like I could have just come for wars too, but if you see wars are really contested, I don't have an advantage in that particular aspect, while scrappies are not touched at all. So I felt like going for scrappies would give me a better edge. Yeah, I can't waste my economy like that, so I have to make that decision to sell. I do enjoy the decision at the moment. I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm happy. Mm. I'm not in pain. Mm. I'm happy. Right. Feel the happy baby, guys. It is not just a baby. It is a happy baby. We could go for barricade against the assassin players. I'm happy, guys, believe me. But Aegis is always a good item. Kind of awkward to take it out. We'll make them Terrorblade and Clockwork says, well, well. Do I want to go for Scrappy Hunters and not Scrappy Mages? How many Hunters are taken in this game? I could just go for Scrappy Hunters. Aegis was so important, that is correct. An item that can help like higher placement is a uh, 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 XC. <laughs> I stuttered. Yeah, Aegis can also be very annoying when you like really, really in situation about to win. Them down. Shoot them down, team. Shoot them down. Shuriken. We are taking damage. It seems we're losing this fight. But we did manage to kill a few units. That's fine. Under upgrade scrappies. Pog. Pog from Jerry VW. The music can build out too. Alright. Thank you very much to the uh, two months sub, man. Hope you are enjoying today's festivities. What? Let us see. This is one of the downfalls of selling all your upgraded units though. The downfall. Mages might be a safer choice though, which is what I'm considering at the moment, so... Sell more upgraded units. Hmm. Let's do that. I'm falling far too behind on economy to chill. I feel like mages are a safer choice to go for. Scrappies are... like, scrappy hunters rely too much on like, on 3-star three, uh, three units. Alright. 
Bam. We are tanky. Can the Pudge survive long enough to hook my timber saw? We'll find out on this next episode of Yes! Alright. Easy win, right? With the uh, supercharge, my Scrappies also get a minus like a DPS reduction. Good choice. Terribly had a dream. Music wasn't louder, really. Is it too low now? Next episode of Yes, Yes. Let's just eco first and then decide what to do. Honestly, these Scrappies are much stronger. Good morning, my friend. Do you think the morph change was good? I think you could say the assassin with the mage and primordial synergy. A mage assassin. That sounds scary. So, if they were to make it a mage assassin, they want to make the mage assassin build open, huh? With faceless void, morphling, queen of pain, something like that. That sounds interesting. Sounds like an interesting decision. Scrappies everywhere. Extra armor, 28. Shoot him down. Tinkers can't charge mana though, unfortunately. The Slark is getting stronger by each auto attack. But that's at best like a savage synergy. Alright, shoot them down. Okay. Shoot him! <laughs> Got him. We do need the economy after buying all these scrappy pairs. It's unfortunate that scrappy stayed up pairs. Which, uh, which, with the new path, these some composition became more viable, such as scrappy's nice, etc. Well, nerfing Hopton was a good idea, that's for sure. That thing was too OP. Do I have a lost streak? No, I don't. But making anything else more viable, I just don't know about that. Could have, could not have. Maybe just to be simpler, I'll just buy them. I actually want to take a bit less damage, so I just leveled up there. So I just bought the uh, unit there. Was a statistical Minimizing damage intake is also very important. I could also sell the bounty too, but I just really don't want to sell the bounty just in case. They're still weak, but according to a dead, they're looked at. Oh, they're looked at. Cool. Oh, and the devs have a plan for you, knights. Should I protect Hopton more? Alright. We won the fight. Probably because we found the upgrade. So it would actually be a worthwhile investment. Good. We get the same gold anyways. Except that we just don't get the reroll. That's all. I love Nice for the stats. I was so sad Nice were involved today. That is correct too. Nice are fine if you can get them upgrade early. Honestly, if they want to make Nice viable, just add in one more Knight. And make Omni Knight and Abaddon lower cost. And they will be far more valuable then. Because it'd be easier to upgrade them in the early game. I need to Lena and the strength. Maiden. I like double the effect of Explosive, though. It's pretty strong. I could also go for Kaboom. Hey, <laughs> hey. Kaboom. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah. Oh, how much is that? I might not sell these girls again. We can sell girls, guys. Mages don't matter until I find more flank Yeltiel, anyways. Right now, DK is out, so four humans are harder. Unless I added something really weird. Is Lycan out today, too? I feel like Lycan's out. Oh, yeah, Lycan's also out, too. Do you look at all these humans being out? The humans are out. Poor ye humans. Sacred Relic is the only idol chosable except for maybe 4 staff. I don't know if this is good anymore, so let's ignore it. Well, I could go for the Hype Gong. Actually, I could have gone for the Hype Gong. Ho ho. Forgot about that. Morphling. Oh. Mages right now.
Let's chill. Slowly add the mages in. I'm not gonna waste my economy over that. Over that. Anyone know the reason behind the smuggler removal? Smuggler was too strong. The item made the um, item difference like a, a real thing in this game. Smuggler was an auto pick because of its like insane value. Hyper gong sounds okay too. I I don't know how much like hype is worth it anymore. Cool time does like reduce by forty percent. It's like a League of Legends like a unit then, huh? Forty percent cool time removal. Ooh, explosive though. He died way too fast though. Alright, spin it, spin it. Spin it to win it. Spin it to win it. Huh. Blow them up. Good job, team. Blow them up. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> so close. Spin it to win it. Does Kaboom stack with Inventor Alliance? Yes, it does. I kind of want to roll here now. Ogre. Alright. Spin it to win it. Alright. Double the ogre, double the fun. This is three mages, so I want three mage synergy in right now. One, two, three. Mage synergy is not that bad, that's why. KOTL over this one. We got the three mages we wanted. Well, except for ogre, of course. Mage should make inventors and my bounty do a bit more damage. That's Rasta three star. Sniper can snipe. Who will you snipe? Tidehunter. Interesting target. Hopton does damage. Scrappy are still alive. We buffed the Tinker. We got the Hype. Died though. That is an 8 second blow up. Nice. Oh wow, this didn't die. Okay. I want to roll here because I want to find some 2 star scrappies. What happened to make Shao Shan broken? They lowered his cool time, they raised his attack speed. Wow, I found a lot. So the rolls were worth it in this scenario. Could just go for more scrappies than this. Like just an army of scrappies, but don't have to. Mm -hmm. Now we can go for the level 8. We're gonna slow level because we don't really need like um we don't need to fast rel level, we just need to value units along the way. Yep, that was a good pack. That was the pack we were waiting for. This comp does not need fast levels, level 9 maximum at least. We just need to make sure we upgrade units along the way. Hoo hoo. Oh man, ogre's getting killed. Oh man, not the anti-mage. I swear oh it's always anti-mage that jumps here. It's nothing else. It. Oh man, barricade. Fire in the hole. Take them down, team. Alright. Oh, and we won. Oh, and we drawed. Unfortunate. Puck or Morphling, Barra, Sword Mage, and Scrap Mage. I prefer Mor uh, Morphling, I guess. I don't know, usually humans are better, but right now the fourth human's out. So it's kinda awkward to say which one is better or better. Slowly level, once you're level 8, we'll look for more uh, 3 cost upgrades. Insects are still viable, Insects is fine. Aegis is already taken, dude. We don't have a good advantage this game, so Aegis is not a bad item to go for at all. I mean, I'll put a Hopchin in the back. Anti-Mage always seems to attack the unit here, for some reason, I don't know what. Oh man. Okay. We kill some, that's good. Alright, we kill Magnus, that's good. If we kill the bear, we take less damage. Oh, we are winning. Wait, wait. Wait, ask game back. We're not winning yet. Alright, zap them. Oh. 
Mirana Aerial wasn't good enough though. Nice. Mirana's not that strong. Supercharged units don't take damage. 45% damage reduction and... Ugh, no, you gotta pay attention, Sniper. Shoot down the axe. Shoot down the Rana one more. Mm. Not even close. Insects are still viable. Yeah, insects are still fine. Ooh, hey, baby, Scrappy Mage or Scrappy Hunters. If you can get three stars, Hunters are better. If you can't get three stars, then Scrappy Mages should be better. I do prefer Scrappy Mages because they are more consistent. Because they don't rely on three stars. But if you can get three stars, uh, usually Hunters are better. Usually, usually. It depends, though. Well, Scrappies also do rely on three stars. Like, three star Tinker is very important, right? I don't have a good economy in this game, so I might keep on rolling a level eight. To get more value units in general. Makes sense. Thank you. Thank you very much for saying thank you. That's very nice of you. Alright. I read six scrappies and three assassins. It's very strong. Didn't test it though. Makes sense. Like, the third assassin would be something like um, Faceless Void. Slark. Bounty. Or maybe you can go for the um, elusive scrappies too. Hmm. Sounds okay. Are elusive still viable? I actually saw an elusive comp in a tournament the other day. <laughs> it was funny. Blade mail? I feel like blade mail might be better. I'll, I'm gonna get clock soon too, right? Blade mail is actually really fun with scrappies. I considered like um, bracers and, and whatnot, but I feel like blade mill would mess there. Will burn. Six scrappies. Hoo hoo. Don't think I need six scrappies immediately, do I? I mm, it only makes ogre a bit tankier at best. Ogre and morphling. First time watching your Twitch stream. I've been watching your YouTube video for past few months. Oh, thank you very much, Cyrus. Dude, I love the movie Con Air. I felt like this was the strongest amongst this, these choices. I would need level 9 to hit the uh, 6 scrappy mark. So let's chill for that. We're gonna keep rolling for some more 2 stars now. Like, we need at least some more flame before we decide to go, before we decide to continue. Woo! Dude, this fight is kinda insane. Ogre's buying me time, but he is summoning. The bombs are falling. Hit the dazzle. Hit the girl. One more ult before he does. Got the girl. All right. Wait, he spent all his gold. Wow, that's dangerous. I'm saying Berlina saying Constantine's really good. It's pretty fun, isn't it? I want to find at least like a Morphling or maybe a Clock before I like stop like rolling. I do also want to make three stars my carry. If I find three stars, I feel like I can make it. Because my front line is in the end very tanky. We'll have to see. Can I see the Unlord Talents? Yes, sir, you may. I would be honored if you checked it out. Alright, we got Tinkers. Now we can actually just consider like leveling along. Alright. So the talents that I took was I actually go for the explosive effects here. I go for implosion and friendly fire and fire break. Supercharge is ridiculously strong, so that's why I want to go for that. They want to make 3 star, th uh, like in this game, 3 cost 3 stars are usually a carry, right? Sarks, PAs, Turblades, Lycans. So I guess they kind of wanted to make her into a carry. So they raised it by 700. <laughs> I think that's what they wanted to do. Jump. The Ogre tanks the damage. They may be assassins, but we are strong. Scrappies are strong, guys. Do not fret. Alright, we got a supercharged Tinker. Explosive though, does damage too. I actually like going for the explosive trait. So now I, I'm fairly strong. I won't take too much damage. I think I want to go for level 9 so I can maybe add in the uh, 6 Scrappy. It makes my Morphling tank here. It makes my Hopgen tank here. So I do think it is worth it. Six hundred to eight hundred is so bad, though. <laughs> Poor Lena. Lena's a bad girl, right? Understandable. So we're gonna focus on leveling. We're not gonna use anything else. Now we can level. And we
Dago, what are you doing there? Doggy Dago, right? Doggy Dago. Mm. Uh. Someone clip it. <laughs> Alright. Dude, these Shadow Shaman 3 stars, man. <laughs> Stop it. Wait, is that Sven? Wait, what? Is that Sven? Did he just melt his own team? <laughs> Wait, who is this guy? Wait, did he just melt his own tanks? Oh no, he only had he only had he only had four nights, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> is, it, is this guy using Sven? Why is my dinner talking? That thing loves to talk. What did I just watch? <laughs> you watch Sven in action, guys. All right. You guys watch Sven in action. Yeah, Tinker 3 might happen this game. This is the most important one to get in the end. Crystal Maiden is a human, but it's not worth selling an ogre for. Morphling 2 stars doing a fantastic job, right? Morphling actually has really good magic damage scaling too. 200, 350, and 450. And even if he's a 2 star, he's a 6 second cool time, which is pretty nice. The Scrappies are ready. We can sell these too. We don't really need these. Yes, sir. Morphling is now a 3 cost mage. I was considering CM over Ogre for the human synergy so my Scrappies can charge their mana faster. Every Scrappy is ultimate oriented except for maybe Bounty and maybe Sniper. So. I considered it, but Ogre 2 star is far stronger as an individual unit. That is 3000 HP. Crystal Maiden can't do that. Oh man. Oh man, Pudge took a Marana arrow. Ah, oh, I couldn't swim. Okay. Okay, bombs. Oh, Hopton did a lot of damage here. Ouch. Good job, though, Hopton. KOTL is the best, right? Keeper of the Light is better than Ogre, I think. Of course, it's better. That is amazing. I completely agree. Alright, we, all, we only go for three mages this game. Ooh. Tempting. I kind of want to go for Afterburn instead. Molten Armor is pretty nice, too. But you know, I want to go burn people down. I could go for multiple Tinkers as well. Multiple Tinkers, not that bad. At the expense of the six Scrappies. But I kind of want to make, um, I kind of want to make this guy tankier. Well, I could just go for more upgrades. I don't really need six Scrappies. ATM, so I can wait and just put in two more individually better upgraded units. And now he suicides with this skill. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of interesting how he suicides, right? Oh, Morphling can have this now because he does suicide. All right, sniper with you. A glove, a glove sniper is a happy sniper. So our build is actually getting ready. Burn them all. Explosivo. That's right, buff that unit. Good buff team. What is the best allegiance for Legion Commander? I've never seen people win with the zero. Oh, there is no, there is no like um. There is no, like, um, nothing. There's no nothing without thing. Of course you don't see anybody with her. There is no nothing. Refresher orb. Yay. Right now, it could be best on Sniper or maybe um, Tinker. Or maybe Morphling. Yeah. Let's put it on Tinker, I guess. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Change of plants or renew. Cappuccino. This should make the six a bit better. Hopchen in the back. He can keep supporting the team. Um, Sacred Relic to maybe, I don't know, maybe Bounty so that he can do more damage. Not sure, but let's chill. Refresher on Tinker. It could be on Sniper. It could be on maybe Morphling. Both are fine. I consider Morphling as well because he does do a lot of AoE damage. But Tinker's not that bad either. He's in the middle, so he actually charges everybody too. He does not scale. Good. Charge the hype. Morphling has a scrappy synergy too now, so he's actually very tanky. He takes a lot less damage, right? Especially since he has a helm, he has a lot of armor. And look at that option damage, dude. But, oh man. 
Alright, look at that option damage, right? This is the option explosive route, guys. Shouldn't human replace Morphling? No, Morphling does too much damage to replace. CM is too weak as an individual unit to put in, right? So I don't want to go for CM either. I guess I could put them in the back-ish most, but I don't want to do that. I got tinies with the counters. What should I do? I could leave a step open, but it's fine. Let's go for Morphling 3. Uh, Tinker 3, cool 3. Isn't Tinker's cool time limited by his mana? Yep, he is once he's 3 star, but as a 2 star unit, probably not. Blade Mail on Clockworks, you are correct, sir. Why did I forget to do that? Good points. Group together. There's no other mage comp, so it's okay to be grouped like this. It's not okay, it's actually rewarding to be grouped. Pretty nice. Dude, this explosible build's pretty fun. Wow. I actually like building like this. It's really fun. Oh, he's stuck. Well, he, he is protected though, which is pretty nice. Stuck, but protected. Zap. She's tanky now, guys. Lena is a tanker. Look at that explosive -o damage, right? <laughs> guys, honestly, look at that damage. And say it's horrible. What do you guys think, huh? Give Ogre that damage item. You're right. Ogre can actually bash hard. Woo! The Hopton build. It is the explosive build direction. Thank you. I am enjoying myself. We're looking for a lot of 3 costs. Tinker, Sniper, Lena, Morphling. We're looking for everything, right? So we're going to keep on rolling for 3 stars. The odds are 30% of finding a tier 3 unit, which is pretty nice. 30% is generally good enough. I can look for this too. Pop Crystal Mane and Raise up. K O T L of the Light himself says hello. Hello. I am ready to say hello. Alright, KOT will charge mana faster with this. The 40% more magic damage as to onto your explosion. That is correct. It should, right? I remember Hopton's skills doing magic damage, while his flame itself does the physical damage. That's what I heard. Assassins? Sand King's a problem. It's charging slowly, thank god, but... Okay. Oh, KOTL going off. Shoot the Sand King down. KOTL with the ultimate. My scrappies are tanky, assassins. Even the mages don't die easily. Shoot him down. You know... The these scrappies in this game reminds me of the old DAC scrappies for sure. It is far superior and strong and powerful, magnis magnificent, beautiful. Sell option. <laughs> Sell option, maybe. I really like the six scrappy synergy now. Like I, I think it's amazing. Morphling. Alchemist and sniper. I will just go for alchemist. I don't think I need snipers. Actually, we'll sell s bounty for um, bounty for the uh, what you call it techies later. Anyways, let's just sell uh, bounty. Do I play with my viewers? I haven't done that in a very long time, actually. I did used to do that a long time ago, but lately I feel like more ch more like I'm chilling by myself. I'm just chilling. We don't really need sniper though, so we're not gonna like uh, prioritize it. We'll sell it if we need space. We're we don't want to go for too many because we'll get confused. More flings I could carry. Tinkers I could carry. Clock is a good carry. Timber cells a good carry. So we can go for these. Okay. Oh, T L of the lull. Morphling is still alive. He is a uh, scrappy. He does not die easily. Dances. Tinker cells ulting. Sniper with the ult as well. And we are taking them down one by one. Hopchit is dancing to victory. Let's go. Explosive miss. Bust. But we got him, boys. This build is pretty cool, right? I spent the entire streams playing with Yunda. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You are correct. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Let's see. Alchemist, nice. Another bounty hunter. Let's see. I kind of want to go for this. Because why would I want to silence anything, right? 
All right. Techies. All right. And the four inventor synergy is complete. We could actually bomb Techies, but his bomb is actually kind of weak, so I don't know. Maybe Alchemist. Not sure. What is the best alliance combo with full Scrappies? I honestly prefer Mages. Mages are pretty nice, right? Hopchen is dancing. And Hopchen is really good at Scrappy because he also gets the Iron Bonus too. My Mages are so tanky, man. Alright, look at Hopchen's DPS. Like, wow. Free ults. Free bombs. Friendly fire guys. That's hot. I never already saw it, right? The six Scrappy Hopchen build is really good. Rip Scrappy TV, too fun for Valve to leave it. <laughs> I think this build is really good. The carries are fine. The build is fine. Daylis or Octarine? Honestly, Octarine should be better, but Daylis is not something I want to look down on. I don't think Octarine is worth it as, like, as a, like, um, it's not as strong as it used to be. So I don't know if it's, like, worth it or not. Tinker. As I said, I will sell the snipers if I need space. Flank. Techie's at the back. He's just here to protect my flank. I don't care about his ultimate. I could have gone for Octarine, like, um, opponent there. Friends and family. I already bought one, two, three... I can only buy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, maybe 8, 9, 10. It only gives me maybe 20 gold at max. Not really worth it. A value item is usually better. Well, I guess Daedalus didn't really do much here. Let's uh, hope for a different carry for Daedalus. We will be able to use um, Refresher on KOTL soon. And in that case, we can actually go for something different. Okay, Chain Reactor. Chain Reactor. Oh, it didn't die. So we'll have to see about this, Stinker. Techies, oh, Techies does no damage. Just think of this as a unit that has zero DPS. People don't understand that Techies actually have zero de uh, DPS potential. It's really, really hard to see it, see it, but he actually doesn't do any damage. Alright. Guess we're chilling. We can all in after this. I'm just using him to block pathing. Make my hop chin, make sure my hop chin's not, like, um, exposed. Yeah, let's all in after this fight. Okay. I think this is time. We took damage. I don't want to take, uh, I don't want to lose my Aegis by before round 30. This is Chain Reactor. And Insects. It's not his bomb. You guys are misunderstanding what did the damage. You guys are thinking that maybe the Dawn did damage, but the bomb did not do the damage, guys. Like, understand what really happened in the fight. Hecky's had nothing to do with it. It's his, um, it's his synergy. The bomb, like, if you see the bomb damage you here, it barely scraped them, right? The bomb doesn't do anything. The bomb itself has no value. Maybe chain reactor, maybe synergies, but the bomb itself has zero value at all. Mm, I don't have inventory space. What should I prioritize? Do I, do I have time? I do want to do this to creep rounds where I have more time. 26 seconds. Alright, that's fine. Would I go 6 Mages or 6 Primordials more? 6 Mages seems more consistent than 6 Primordials, right? Ah, Timber Cell. Nice. Medusa. Alright, now... We can Refresher you and maybe give this to you. KOTL is a bit better. Or is KOTL really better? I actually don't know about that. Is he really better? I also want to know... Um, Alchemist... Sniper and clock, I right, chill. More fling, sniper and clock, I. Right. Do I just get rid of Lena? I want to find sniper. I want to find like more fling, maybe clock, but um, hmm. I could give up on clock, but buying these also raises the odds of me finding my particular units. I don't know if Daedalus is right on this unit though. Hmm. Maybe Daedalus was bad. No, no, I was thinking sniper three or maybe um clock three, right, right. Maybe Octarines was better. It's because he dies too fast. He's a frontliner. 
Right. Yeah, one Tinker 3 star should be good enough for this, I think. Oof, they survived. Option ult. Yeah. Woo. Look at that damage. Explosive O. That's right. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a draw. Just put on Tinker 3. <laughs> I can put on Tinker 3. Good idea. Oh man. You won't regret this. Chill. Tinker. Looks like you need someone with missiles. Yes, I do need someone with missiles. A fine investment. You got an eye for talent. Maybe I should still clock? Hmm. Not sure. Okay, one tinker, one sniper off. I all in because I felt like I could have found him like instantly. Refresher Tinker? You don't need to refresh your tinker. There's very little benefit. Well, it does give him mana. That's like what? Like um a brooch or an arcane boots. Alright, dude, Hopjin damage is insane. Wow, dude, this Hopjin build is pretty nice. I like it. Okay, one off each. I just need the I just need this and I win the game. It's unfortunate. Maybe I should just hold this. I wasn't sure. Now the worst case scenario is if um these show up now. <laughs> that would be the worst case scenario. What is Morph doing there? I don't get it. Morphling is now a mage, sir. They changed Morphling to Mage. And we got the boy! Sticky Strike or... There's no Assassins left, right? Let's try going for Danger Close, right? Is this good? Does it hit the same unit twice? I just don't know. Hmm? They list you, I guess. Maybe really you. Clock. Do I all oh, think brutes are viable? Brutes are fine. Brutes are cool. Is that a Doom 3 star? Wow. I actually just noticed that thing. Take that thing down. Let's go. Do they have punches? They have a punch. What item will I get here? There's no assassins, right? right? Oh, these are all nice. Expanded Ross. We don't need desperate measures. Bloodthorn. Expanded Ross sounds far better than the rest. Like, having another ultimate should have more value. Another sniper. No, Morphling should have more value than a sniper. I was hoping there'd be less of them. Should I give him an item? Gyro would be amazing too. You're right, Gyro would be nice too. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's keep a Morphling here. Wow, the swim. But dude, this thing has a lot of AD. I am not going to lie. Woo, Chain Reactor in action. Throw them up one by one. Raid boss. Raid this boss, guys. Bomb it down. Hoo hoo, destroy Doom 3 Star. Dude, Doom 3 Star is really weak, isn't it? <laughs> Doom 3 Star is ridiculously weak. Knocked out in second place. And that was the Hop to Scrappy build, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a very simple build. All you need is explosive. I actually like this talent tree. It's a new build that I've been like, experimenting on. And I actually really like it. Yeah, I, the, the DPS from these talents are actually insane, guys. 
It just destroys your battle line, especially since so many people are grouped up together, right? So a tree I went for is really simple. Like I go for scrappies, I go for mages. Scrappies are tanky, they buy me time from Hopton to do stuff. You don't need to Hopton for Sauce anymore. So what I do is I go for um I go for implosion at round 15, and I go for afterburn at round 25. You don't need the uh, Molten Armor anymore, you don't need to silence people anymore. Just go for the DPS on Explosivo and it actually does serious amounts of damage, guys. It's a new build I've exper experimented with, Hopjit, like Scrappy Mages. I only tried it with Scrappy Mages and I think it's really good. If you guys have the opportunity, you can try it out for yourself to see if it's really good. I really like it. Oh, Nag 